changed about 0.1% of the pixels, and we slightly adjusted the intensity of these few pixels. As you know, uh, a color image is 0 to 255 for three different colors. We just took one off, so maybe it was 128, now 227 for a few pixels. So no human can see the difference. A biomarker-based AI looks for exudates and hemorrhage, and so they're still there, even though they've changed slightly, and so they do really well. They detect these uh, in 99 percent of cases. When we looked at black box algorithms, which typically when, how many research AIs are built nowadays, they miss about 97 percent of images like this. So there's a sort of robustness that you miss if you do not use biomarkers. And on the right, I'm sort of trying to explain why overfitting is a, is a factor in this, this sensitivity to what essentially is training to detect certain pixel combinations rather than understanding at a higher level what the image contains.